Ebbets Brawl, welcome back to Dark Souls. So last time we took on Grave Lord Nito, we acquired our final Lord Soul, so you know what that means. It's time to take on Gwyn. However, I believe we've got some unfinished business with the whole guy Drag on the bridge, so we are gonna go one-shot the shit out of him, because quite frankly, I just don't like that guy. Now, I know it really sucks when a series you're really enjoying comes to an end, but damn it, all good things must come to an end, and... You know, it's gonna be like a month before Dark Souls 2 comes out, so either way, it shouldn't be too long before there's more Dark Souls on my channel, and I will try and make some random Dark Souls videos between now and Dark Souls 2, so you have something to watch. In the meantime, you can go check out my other stuff. Trust me, you will like something there, I swear to God. Anyway, let's take out this puppy. Now, I think he should be behind me. Don't burn me, I swear, you son of a bitch. I said don't burn me, you're not paying attention. Okay, is he killed? No, he hasn't killed. Kill the hollows, you complete dick. Thank you. Now, if you wait behind this wall long enough, he will eventually come down trying to attack you. That's when you can go and kill him. However, you can kill him with a bow, but, uh, you're gonna need a good bow or a whole lot of freaking arrows. You can go below the bridge and shoot him down there like one of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, or you can come up here and shoot him from, sort of, stand back from the wall a little bit. You should be able to shoot just over the top of it. Either way, you can kill him with a bow, but again, it's gonna take forever. Shit. I'm not ready yet, buddy. Okay, we have power then. Let's go. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it, wrong thing. One. <laughs> okay, we're alive, and that's what matters. And, boom, son. Yeah, there we go. The Hellcat Drake is down in one shot. Suck on that, you surly son of a bitch. Yeah, that felt good. Now, I don't think he actually drops the Dragon Scale. No, no, he doesn't. What the hell? I mean, I know he's a Hellcat Drake, you know, keyword there, Drake, but, uh, so are the Drakes in the Valley of the Drakes, because it's not called the Valley of the Dragons. Plus, uh, yeah, I mean, the Hydras, they're hardly dragons either, so, yeah, I don't get that. Whatever, man, he's a cheap son of a bitch. Either way, he's dead. Screw that guy. Anyway, it's time to take on Gwyn. Let's go. Okay, I believe we are ready. There's not all too much preparation that we need to do, quite frankly. I forgot to mention this before, but I bought Wataris' armor. No reason for it other than the fact that I just like how it looks. And, uh, yeah, screw it. Bonza! Yeah, screw you, friend. I'm taking the quick way down. Okay, so long story short, we've acquired all the Lord Souls, which means we can use those to satiate the Lord Vessel to open the door into the Kiln of the First Flame so we can go whoop Gwyn's ass. And yes, yes, there is a freaking badass cutscene. God, I love it. Anyway, before I forget, very quickly at the end of the video, once we kill Gwen, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. Mostly to do with Dark Souls 2, what's going on on the channel, what you can expect, that type of thing. So do stick around for that. Okay, so essentially, these are Silver Knights that came to the kiln with Gwen, and they got burned in the process, which is why their armor is charred. So that's why they became Black Knights. And these are the ghosts of some of them, so... Yeah, it's really strange to me that there are clearly ones that I guess survived it, and the rest of them didn't. Again, it's kind of speculation, but uh, that's the way I look at it. I look at it that some of them died, some of them didn't, so the ones you actually see in the game, they're the ones that lived. So, why there are some that aren't in the kill uh, Black Knights? I really have no idea. Maybe somehow they escaped. Maybe it's just one of those things in video games that doesn't really have an explanation. Who freaking knows? So anyway, oh good lord, that was close. Anyway, there's about four or five Black Knights in here. I think there's five, and all of them respawn, so this is the only place in the game where you can actually reliably farm the guys for their weapons. And there you go, we got one already. Their weapons are incredibly common, quite frankly. If you have max drop rates, you literally get one more often than you don't. So, uh, yeah, I think the Battle Axe as well might be a little bit rarer than the other ones. It could just be, you know, me projecting, because I always seem to get way less Battle Axes than I do everything else. I seem to get way more of the regular swords and, uh, you know, just generally less of the ones above that. But again, could just be complete chance. Yeah, suck on that. Anyway, yeah, so this is what I know about Gwyn. He was Gwyn Lord of Sunlight, he is now Gwyn Lord of Cinder. The reason for that was because, essentially, you can look at it that there's like a main bonfire in here, and at that bonfire, to link the flame and keep the Age of Fire going and not bring in the Age of Darkness, because... Essentially, that's the way it works. It's the main bonfire, if that one's not lit, they'll all die out, and the Age of Darkness will overtake the land, which essentially is a bad thing, or at least so we assume, but uh, we have no reason to actually know that. So, yeah, it's kind of speculation. Some people think the darkness would be good, some people think the Age of Fire is better. 
who really knows? But either way, he gave up his body and became Gwyn Lord of Cinder because essentially he charred his body at the flames, so that's why he's not who he was. He's, he's kind of hollow. He's not, you know, a god anymore, really. He's just a shadow of a man. So, uh, yeah. So if you go for the good guy ending, you can link the flame, charcoal your body in the process as well, or you can leave, bring in the Age of Darkness and become the Dark Lord. So that's kind of the meaning behind the two endings. And again, it depends which snake you believe, because some people believe Frant, some people believe uh, Kath. They both say different things that contradict each other. One, essentially, the Dark Snake says that the uh, Age of Darkness is good. The other one essentially says the Age of Fire is good. So, yeah, it really depends which snake is telling the truth. Maybe they're both lying to you. Personally, that's what I believe. I think they're both full of shit. However, if they are both full of shit, that means... Do I believe that the Age of Fire or Darkness are bad, or are they both good, or are they both bad? Frankly, I have no idea. It's one of those obscure things in Dark Souls. I just don't know. Anyway. I did save Soleil, so his summon shrine should be around here. I was told it's to the left of the third Black Knights above the staircase. I'm looking, I ain't seen no goddamn summon sign. God damn it, Soleil. Okay, we'll check around here a little bit more, but, uh, yeah, I really have no idea what's up with that, because his summon sign is supposed to be here. Trust me, he's definitely alive, and I went and spoke to him wherever he is. I went uh, to the Sunlight Altar, I spoke to him in Anilondo, and I spoke to him in, uh, you know, the section just after the Centipede Demon, all in the right order as well, and, uh, He's most definitely alive, he's just a lazy son of a bitch. Because I really, really think that's where his sign's supposed to be, so... Yeah, I guess we're not going to be summoning him for the last boss fight unless he shows up and, you know, I die or something. You know, I'll try turning human again if I die, we'll come back, see if it reappears this time, but, uh... I think he's just a lazy, lazy dick. Either way, at least we saved the guy. That's something. I think this is kind of just a general bug in Dark Souls, because I don't think I'm the only person this has happened to. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place, but uh, I did check quite extensively over the internet, and literally everywhere said, right after the third Black Knight on the left, and uh, it was not there. God damn it, Solaire. God damn it. Why do you always let me down? God, you're a bastard. Okay, wait a minute. I see something up there. Was that his sign over on the right? No, we can't go over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess he's abandoned us. What a dick. Anyway. It's time for Gwyn. Let's go. God, I love the music for this boss fight. It's got like that perfect sadness about it. Oh, okay. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. So yes, as you can see, you can parry this guy. That's the easiest way to kill him. However, he hits incredibly hard and fast. If you miss one parry, you will probably... That's a grab attack. You don't want to get hit by that. You will probably die. He is incredibly punishing. Oh, shit. Speaking of which, I missed the parry. Now we're in trouble. Okay, run the hell away and heal. You can use the static mites or tights or whatever the hell they are, but uh, it's not easy. Oh, good lord. How the hell did that miss me? God damn it. Damn it. God, I hate you. Round two. Fight. No, oh, good lord. That scared the crap out of me. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm going to use the freaking magic. We're not going to spam it, but uh, yeah, this guy. Oh, shit. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit! I thought the last death be struck him from the record. There was something in my eye, goddammit. <laughs> oh my god. Right, let's try that again. Parry? That's not a parry. Okay. By the way, I choose my armor. So we have lighter armor on, because, uh, yeah, they have the armor and the poison shits doesn't really help. It's actually kind of bad just to get knocked on your ass, because then you can't get comboed like I did. God damn it, Gwyn. Leave me the hell alone, buddy. Buddy, I need to heal. Just let me go behind this damn thing. Thank you. Now, he will try and jump around them. Oh, do that. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, perfect. We've healed up. Let's try this again. God, I hate this guy. Right, start beat the son of a bitch. Perfect. And boom, son. Holy crap. That does a lot of freaking damage. Boom. Okay, well, at least we hit him, but, uh, he hit us as well. Boy, did he ever freaking hit us. Uh, da, 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 da. Nice try. Okay, let's go. Ba, da, da, da. Stop it. I need to heal, goddammit. Okay, he's very close. One more hit. <laughs> dick. You absolute dick. I had you, goddammit. Okay, this time we're going to try a slightly different tactic, because, uh, failing to parry that first attack is what's getting me beating the shit out of. We are just going to roll under it. And... There we go. Boom, son. Holy Christ. That's much better. See? <laughs> That's how you do it. Stop trying to grab me. Ah, da -da -da. okay. Touche. Right. We really kind of need deal. We're not that low on HP, but he could probably one-shot me with at least some attacks. God damn it, Gwyn. You just made that pointless. 
Leave me the hell alone. Right, I see a thing over here. We're gonna use this one. That's right, perfect. No, 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 not perfect. Damn it! <laughs> okay, you know what? No more, Mr. Nice Guy. It's time to pull out the big guns. We are just gonna go all out offense. Prepare to die, you son of a bitch. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Boom, son. Yeah, didn't see that coming, did ya? <laughs> That's right. I just three shot Gwyn. Suck on that. God, you deserve that. Okay, so anyway, now that we've killed Gwyn, we have two options. Like I mentioned, if you link the flame, you kind of burn your own body and sacrifice yourself to keep the Age of Fire going. However, if you just leave, the Age of Darkness comes over the land and you become the Dark Lord. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going for the Dark Lord ending because that sounds way, way more freaking badass if you ask me. We did do the good guy ending last time in the Soul Level 1 run anyway, and frankly, I want to sacrifice myself. I just want to be the Dark Lord, goddammit. I want snake servants and shit that feed me grapes and fan my heads. Is that too much to ask? I mean, really. My lord, bless thy safe return. Let Karf and Frant serve your highness. We are here to serve your highness. Let true dark be cast upon the world. Our Lord hath returned. Alrighty, so that is the end. So uh, yeah, first things first, thank you everyone for joining me. Honestly, I did this Let's Play on kind of just a whim. I mean, I was I didn't know what to do on that day. I was like, fuck it, I'll record some Dark Souls and it's going to be one of my most popular series ever. So once again, thank you all for that. Thank you all for the support, the likes, the comments, everything. It really means a lot to me. I genuinely did not expect the series to be even half as popular as it is. So uh, yeah, that really means a lot to me. So anyway, about Dark Souls 2. Now, need to cover something. I am not getting Dark Souls 2 on the release date because the release date is earlier on console than it is on PC. I have a PlayStation 3, however, I don't have anything to record from the damn thing. So, even if I bought the game, there's literally no way I can record that. So, they have said, however, that Dark Souls 2 will be out the same month. So, hopefully it will still be out in March or, you know, around there. So, yes. As soon as it comes out on consoles, I will not be able to play it. However, I will wait for the PC release. I will not watch anything to do with it. It will be completely and utterly blind. I'm not going to read any of the messages on the floor. And I'm going to get my ass whooped. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that. As soon as it's out on PC, day one. Now, speaking of which, it's going to be very, very different from my Dark Souls Let's Play. Because in this, you know, I talk about boss tactics and I talk about the lore and where items are and what they do and all kinds of crap like that. I would not be able to do that for Dark Souls 2, because I'll be going in blind, I won't know any of the lore, I won't know how to beat any of the bosses. We will all be learning as we go along. In fact, if you've seen or played the console version before I get to the PC version, you may very well know a lot more than me when it comes to it, so uh, yeah. Just expect that it's going to be very different in that style, but eventually I'll learn all that sort of things and then we'll do a proper walkthrough of it. But the first time, it's just going to be completely blind, it's going to be me fumbling around and dying to ambushes and stuff like that. And yeah, it's going to be freaking awesome! Anyway, so yeah, there will be something replacing Dark Souls pretty much immediately. I'm not going to spoil what that is, but keep an eye out for that. And uh, in the meantime, do go check out my other stuff, because if you like what I do here, then I like to think it's because of my style, and I try and do that sort of thing in every game that I play. So do check out my other videos. You will find something you like, I swear to God. Anyway, once again, thank you all for joining me. It's been my pleasure, and I'll see you next time.